Usually, the cat be having my tongue every time I turn this camera on and want to talk to y'all. The cat really be having my tongue. Uh, Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Today is, what's today's date, child? The 26th, January 26th, and I haven't vlogged since... Literally, I haven't vlogged in a week, but I didn't come on the camera and talk to you guys because <sighs> my day, y'all, I really haven't vlogged in a couple of days, but I just had to come on camera to share with you guys. I'm so emotional right now because today is my last day in the shop, y'all. Like, <sighs> Today is Saturday, January 26th, and it's my last day here. I'm emotional because I already kind of started clearing a few things out, like my refrigerator that was there, and I had two pink chairs. Um, they here outside because Corwin, my neighbor, wants them. So I'm emotional because I'm really really moving out y'all like I gave this place three years three and it's time to say my last goodbyes but not right now so I'm gonna soak them tears up for Sunday because Sunday I gotta clear all this shit out so yeah this is and this is cool with you guys this is I love him y'all He's a um, CNA teacher. Uh, well, he got his own class, his own school, rather, for CNA. So, yeah, him and his sister. Yeah. Come Sunday, and we can have a party. We can bring a, a bottle and stuff or whatever. But, yeah, let me get up out of here, y'all. I'm tired. I just did my last head for today. And uh, when I get in the car, I'm going to talk to y'all. Because usually, the cat be having my tongue. Every time I turn this camera on, I want to talk to y'all. The cat really be having my tongue. But he ain't got my tongue today. So, let me, like I say, I got trash on the floor. I ain't getting none of this shit up until, like, I ain't cleaning up officially until Sunday. So, let me get up out of here, go home to these churn, and I'll talk to y'all when I get in the car. I think it's connected to my car. I don't know if my lips gonna be going with the video because I think it's hooked up to my car. Hold on. Took long enough. Yeah. I had to brush my teeth too. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so annoying. All right, y'all. I am actually leaving my house. <sighs> I done made it home from the shop. Came home to get Nana. And we finna go to Walmart. Y'all, ooh child. I got some catching up to do with y'all because, yeah. And I don't think I'm comfortable driving with this light on and trying to talk to y'all. And, and I got shades on. Why? That's cause Mm -mm. my skin is so dark right now i feel like i'm so dark i ain't got no lashes on i just ordered a shitload of lashes off amazon because i feel like with my haircut y'all i have to either have on some shades or i have to have my lashes on i can't just have my cut so yeah that's where i'm at with i just ordered a bunch of lashes i'll show you guys when i get back because i ain't even opened them up yet so i don't really know what they look like but we gonna open up the package to get oh lord we're gonna open up the package together and um this is so uncomfortable driving like this y'all honestly so i'm going to check back in with y'all Probably once I get home, if I remember, because honestly, I have, I've been forgetting to pick the camera up. And it's not even that, honestly, let me just catch y'all up real quick, because I know I'm going to forget. I 
just know I am. But, um, that's because I got this light. See, every time I just try to stop so I can talk to y'all, I'm on go. And I'm not, I could have went, but I don't want to go because I want to talk to y'all. All right, so, after I vlog last week, Thursday, I believe, I think that was Thursday, um, the vlog before this vlog, um, apparently, I tried to get sick, y'all, like, <sighs> I'm talking about sick, well, not that sick, not like COVID sick or anything like that, I still haven't caught COVID by the grace of God, Lord, I thank you for that, but, um, you know, this weather kept changing. It's like one day is hot, one day is cold, one day is raining. And yeah, I haven't been sick since, like I said, 2019. Um, last week, it hit me like that Thursday. Like I said, y'all saw it in the blog how I was drinking my medicine and like sniffling and coughing and <laughs> barely can talk. Um, and I just been drinking Theraflu to, you know, treat myself that's like the, that's the only medicine i take is hot there flu i had some alka-seltzer in uh emergency so i had all three of those like you know not all at once but what else it's breaking it down like i feel like a last kid because y'all really be blowing my nose and when i blow my nose it'd be so much mucus coming out of me but it's not green so i don't have no infection lord i thank you again for that it's just i feel like a roscoe like uh, but anywho i have been sick so that's why i haven't picked up the camera you guys so i'm really in traffic and not even more so traffic like it is traffic but i'm on like major highways and yeah, I need to turn this damn light out so I can focus because I ain't trying to get pulled over. And I'll check back in with y'all once I get home. All right, y'all. I am home from Walmart. I showered. Oh. Y'all have been at work all day. Um, oh, first off, let me just fill y'all in. I'm in CJ the room. About to put none of bed together. So that's what's in this box. I know I know y'all probably like, girl, you done showered and you done got cute. Yes, I, I did. I had to show up for myself because y'all, I told y'all with this shortcut. I'm a toe. Shut up with this brush cut or whatever you want to call it. I have to look like something, like, for real, for real. I found out what my problem is when it comes to y'all. So, I will literally be in my head having a conversation with y'all. That's how much I be in my head. I have a whole conversation with y'all in my head. And when it's time for me to turn on the camera, I already done said what I needed to say in my head. It would be hard for me to said to y'all because I already done said it so I forget what the hell I've been on conversation I've been had in my head but like I said right now I'm in the room um you're, ain't no you're. I'm about to put Nana's bed together I bought CJ a mattress for his bed so I'm gonna put his mattress on his bed probably show y'all that um, also, you know, uh, you want me to finish? no, yeah, I'm gonna just end up packing up tomorrow and just be done because another thing I want to say, y'all, your girl is moving like my lease is moving and I'm not renewing my lease, so yeah, and my shop lease will be up before my apartment lease and it didn't make sense to renew my shop lease if i know once my lease up here in this apartment i'm up out of here you know so yeah and we moving to another state like i gotta get my kids from out of florida y'all like 
especially out of Daytona. Like it's it's y'all like it's just a lot. Like I feel like one cat one of my kids is just out of hand, like out of line. Just oh, y'all just pray for me. And then the other one, CJ, I could put a name on that, but CJ, he goes to uh, this school, predominant white. Like, let's just be honest. And honestly, I just feel like they just keep nitpicking with my baby at this point. It's like the little shit. It's little shit they just nitpicking with him for. So, CJ, yesterday, the lady called me and was like, um... It's the same lady always calling me. Always calling me out. Anywho, um, I ain't even on social media, so why is it timing me out uh, for today? Anyways, um, okay. This one lady, I swear it's like almost every week, she, she's calling me about CJ and something he being disruptive. It's always basically he being disruptive or whatever. So, she called me yesterday to tell me he got kicked out of media for having, I guess, you know, like the school give out like little money, little fake money, and you earn stuff with it. So I guess he had his money out. I don't know. They just end up kicking him out. So then she goes to tell me how some other kid kicked CJ. And I was like, well, when was this? And when y'all was this been happening at that? And she just not telling me this yesterday. Like, y'all, it's just so much. It's like, it's like a lot I want to tell y'all, but I don't even know where to begin because it's just like, oh my fucking gosh. Like, like I said, every time I turn around, y'all, it's something with CJ. And I just know it's not CJ. Like, I know my kid. And I know my kid not going to keep going against the grain. Like, he, I know him. But it's like, they always nitpicking. So, for instance, Keita went out there yes, today. Keita went to the school today to really see what was going on because y'all was at the shop. Keita was like, it's the lady. Like, she said it. Because everything CJ would say or, like, what she would say. Like, they asked CJ what he wanted to be when he grew up. So, CJ said a uh, gamer. And then he wanted to play football and basketball or whatever. So, I guess she like, oh, only one out of a million something with gamers. Like, you know, and it's like, baby, don't try to crush my baby dreams. Like, if he say he want to be a gamer, that's what he want to be. It's money in it. I mean, hey, that's what he that's what he want to do. He's a kid. He's only 10. You think he's going to be like, I want to be a doctor, a lawyer? No, he ain't going to say that. Like, <sighs> okay. Keita said she said something else when he said something about he wanted to be a basketball player, she was like, um, something about good dreams. Dang. Keita said she said something about she loved to see the dreams or something slick. Basically, she always got something slick to say. I say see. <coughs> see, I still got a little coffee. But I was like, see, it wasn't meant for me to go out there because I know, I know my temper, but she got one more time to call my motherfucking phone and I'm going to be out to that motherfucking school because I'm tired of it. Like y'all, every, uh, I swear to God, every other week, they call me about something stupid. Now I have a client that works out to the school. So she ended up calling me and texting me yesterday too. and was like, call me before you come out here. So when me and her was having a conversation, she was like, who called you? And she said the lady name. I was like, yeah, she was like, hmm, ain't too fun to her, no way. So that goes to show me, yeah, the lady is picking with CJ. Then it's another black lady that works at the school. She was trying to get in contact. Well, she wasn't trying to get in contact with me. She was telling my client to get get my number or whatever because she want to talk to me too. Because they know, like, I'm the parent. I'm going to come out to that school and I'm going to show my ass where my child showing his ass at. Because I'm not, you know, but at this point, you picky. Because I know CJ ain't going to keep just doing, you know, he don't like to get in trouble. So, 
yeah it's the fucking school yeah i'm so ready to go like i am so ready to go and god is just opening these doors for me so i can be up at this apartment and up at this city <sighs> and don't ask me why i'm fixing up their room i'm not really fixing up their room it's just i was gonna wait till i moved to get them some furniture but i might as well just do it now that way when i do move they already have furniture so yeah so all right y'all i did enough talking i kind of filled y'all in a little bit but like i said some more shit that i need to talk to y'all about <sighs> and i know i ain't gonna be able to talk to y'all and put this bed together because i'm gonna be sitting here all day still trying to talk to y'all and i ain't gonna be able to focus i have to focus on one thing at a time for the putting on that bed like i said put her bed together and do mr walker actually let me do his bed now that way he can sleep real comfortable tonight, you know. CJ bed is made. Um, he never had his own, like, personal bed. He always had a bed, don't get me wrong. But I always did, like, trundles because space, you know. So he never had his own physical, own bed. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, <sighs> because I had two boys, two girls. So I always tried to have it, like, bunk beds or trundles so they could still utilize their room with space. But... You know, they're getting older, and it's time for him to have his own bed. And he said it. He was like, and then I not end up, let me tell you. So, the last, they trundle they did have, not it end up breaking. That wood shit, that's why I got metal beds, because wood just, yeah. They bed broke, now not end up um, just breaking the whole bed down and throwing it out. And I had got that from... Uh, rooms to go and child just ordered this little hold on so I just ordered this little bed off Amazon the bed came from Amazon the you know this confidence set came from Amazon the throw came from Walmart of course mattress from Walmart and his pillows came from Walmart so yeah now let's get CJ's reaction. But yeah, now I broke their bed down like a couple of months ago. So literally CJ been sleeping on the floor with his mattress. But like I said, I just I was gonna wait to get them furniture because I'm like, I'm trying to move. I just wait till we get to the new house and do all of that. But no, nah, I couldn't wait no more. I got tired of my baby sleeping on the damn floor. Or he'll sleep in his sister's room. So, yeah. And then now I just got to do Nana bed. Because Nana been sleeping on the couch. 
Yeah, it's been we've been thugging it over here, and I need me a new bed, new mattress, new everything in my room. Wait here, CJ. And that's the trash from the mattress. That's not our stuff back there. And I painted they room. At least when I do move, they ain't gotta worry about really painting. Even though I know they gonna paint me anyway. So. You're welcome. It's just something simple for now until we move and then I really, really, you know, do it. But I told y'all I've been trying to like at least get my this house in order so I wouldn't be in that state of mind. But I'm still ready to move. Like, I don't give a damn. That's, that feeling and that urge is just there. Like, I just got the fuck from up out of Daytona, y'all. Like, <sighs> And then Corwin, I showed, I end up just letting him get some of the stuff. So he ended up getting the the refrigerator, two my two pink chairs, and then I gave him my fan that was a humidifier and heater all in one. It's like a three in one type of fan, and I gave him that. So that's less, you know, stuff I gotta take because I know I'm not gonna need that at the new house and. Yeah, so y'all, I'm just ready, y'all. I it's <sighs> listen when I say I'm ready. Speaking of, now that I just looked at myself and looked at my smile, y'all, let me tell y'all how. Um, it might be some food in there too because I just had pizza, but let me tell y'all how. Remember, I was telling y'all in the last vlog that I always, you know, I really felt some type of way about my smile, whatever. So Anywho, I got on TikTok. A girl was like, you have a beautiful smile. I told y'all I broke down crying. Girl, now Facebook, the same video I put on TikTok, I put on Facebook. Facebook, it kind of, it went a little viral, like maybe 20-something thousand views or something like that. It was probably more than that. I don't know. But, uh, move, CJ. You don't got no shirt on. But, anywho, I put my video on Facebook, too, so... Two random girls, of course, I don't know them, just randomly shared it and had something negative to say about my fucking smile, bitch. But I ain't let it discourage me. I ain't let it bother me. I just end up blocking. I reported it and I blocked, I blocked her. But then Facebook gonna tell me it ain't like, there is nothing they can do. They made a decision and it's not bullying harassment so they i guess she kept the post up they say like she kept it up but hopefully me blocking her she won't be able to see my post but it's like how y'all gonna say that because what it I, i'm gonna show y'all that's what she said and i'm like that is like harassment you know like slash bullying because what my teeth got to do with her like you know they ain't see nothing wrong with it but i remember i shared not even share something I posted a girl, yeah, quick story. What happened? She booked an appointment with me a whole year ago, right? Never made it to her appointment. I told her she could reschedule. Yeah, it took her almost a year to reschedule and wanted to use that same deposit. And basically, I told her, no, like, you have to pay another deposit. It's been a whole year later. Long story short, me and the girl end up exchanging words, text messages. So she gets on Facebook, and she was like, who can, um, who can do my hair? And don't say guitar or something. So it's like, bitch, you ain't even had to mention me. Like, bitch, just ask who could do your hair. Why you had to mention me? So I somebody screenshotted it because I didn't even see it. So somebody screenshotted it, sent it to me. So I just posted it. It was like, um, like, I forgot what I said, y'all. But anywho, we end up, they gonna damn block my page, talk about bullying or harassment or something. I'm just like, oh, child, Facebook. <sighs> I hate it there sometimes, but I actually love Facebook. So make sure y'all follow me on Facebook because that's where I really be at. I really be posting on my story on Facebook. Not too much on Instagram or TikTok, but I'm trying to get G with it. Anywho, I'm done with CJ Room. I do not not be here tomorrow, child. I'm going to go down here with Bay. 
chill with her. And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow because I'm getting back in the groove of them uh, vlogging too. Because at first, y'all, it's like every time I would turn on the camera, it was like nothing would come out. I told y'all I was getting over a little cold. And I just, every time I wanted to come talk to y'all, it's like, cat got my tongue. It just was always something. Like, I guess, I think another thing too with me, I'm a very private person. Fucking ace running back and forth. And I guess it's it's kind of still hard for me to really open up and talk to y'all, talk to y'all if y'all get what I'm trying to say. But don't worry, y'all. I'm, I'm going to be feeling y'all in because, see, like me showing y'all his bed or saying that his bed was on the floor and all of that, that's personal to me, you know. But I don't give a fuck. It, like, I don't care if y'all know or not. It's just, honestly, it went, I just feel like it, what was for that, to tell y'all, you know, but yeah, I had to tell y'all because I had to tell y'all why and why he got a new bed and all this other bullshit. But okay, I'm done. I'm done for real, for real. <laughs>